if you're a Knicks fan, you're frustrated because they're facing an elimination game against the Pacers, and they shouldn't be. So I'm here at Aster Hair on Aster and Broadway. We're gonna have a little bit of barbershop talk about the game. All right, so you guys watched the game last night? New York Knicks I fans? Miss, I missed it, I missed the game. You but, missed the game? Uh, yeah, yeah, but I, they lost, right, or they won? They lost. Oh, they lost? They lost, they lost pitifully. That's yeah. not surprising. Wait, did you see the game? I saw the game, yeah. See, this, this is my thing. The Knicks messed up when they traded for Carmelo Anthony. They should have never traded away five players for one guy that has never won a championship ever. But who's been carrying the team for the past season. I didn't like the trade either myself, to tell you the truth. But, you know, you had a, you had a, we had a young group of guys there that were they, were they were doing something. We needed maybe a couple more pieces, but Carmelo might have been the piece with that team. But when you trade the rest of the team to get Carmelo, then he's got nobody left, you know? He's a, he's a one-man show, really, basically. If it wasn't for JR this year, they probably would have Never won half the games they won, really. The biggest inconsistency you have is J.R. Smith. You know, he can shoot you into a game, and he can shoot you out. So you got to put him in, in better scenarios. You got to get him going to the rim first and then let him shoot up. You got too many guys that can't create for themselves that need the ball, and you're not using your legitimate point guard to create those op opportunities. This is the problem with the Knicks. All the good teams got players that play offense and defense. You got LeBron, goes both ways. You got all the big stars go both ways. The Knicks, what they have is, they got two great offensive players, Melo and JR. Every uh, team has their Shaq and Kobe, their Jordan and Pippen. He's a Bulls fan. And the question was, Michael Jordan the best ever so far or the best documented? So I would probably go with the best documented because we haven't seen the best ever. Probably right now, there's a young man playing in the backcourt with his father, learning moves, getting to that point where we haven't seen yet. You know, Michael Jordan was just an individual that was, was considered a finesse player in a more dominant offensive time. So he looked like he was finesse, but he wasn't. He was just soaring over people because people were trying to hurt him and trying to stop him. I hated Michael Jordan. He carried that ball like, he carried that ball, man. He would pick the ball up and turn his hand over, you know, and it, he will foul people. That 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 shot, that 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 um that video in the commercial when he jumps and he yeah. does the kick. But that with that move he did before, when he pushed the dude over him. That's an offensive foul. We're talking about a time even when Michael Jordan was dropped 60, the games were still like 80, 90 points. Now you can watch almost every game. It's like 120, 125 points a night. So you Except sacrifice, right? You sacrifice defense so you can see more offense. So you now have a softer NBA. Right, so right, when right. you took out the hand check, now guys were flying by. Now there's no bodies could be put on you. Before, um, Derek Coleman had a slogan, I have six fouls, I'm gonna make sure you're gonna feel those. Now you don't have those, you get a foul, now you start playing tentative because you don't wanna get sit down if you get second one. Right, right. So individuals have not played that aggressive. In the last couple of years, you're starting to see that emergence of defense come back. The Indiana Pacers right now kicking the Knicks butt and they're no star players. The Knicks, like we discussed before, traded away five good players for one guy that has never been to the championship level, ever. You remember last season, was it last season? With um, Jeremy Lin, right? Yeah, yeah. Lin Sanity. Right. The ticket sale went up 30% in one week because of this kid. Right. When Carmelo Anthony went up, it went up another 20%. Oh right. So they're not caring so much on the team. It's the product. Because you guys went and got Rasheed Wallace, right? He was sitting on some park bench and you he picked was, him up. He was doing <laughs> Jason Kidd. You got about 100 years experience Kirk between Thomas. four. Right. And Kirk Thomas. <laughs> you got 100 years experience on four players, you know? We play tonight. We'll see what happens. Yeah, best luck. I wish y'all luck. All right, Jay. Take care, man. All right, thanks. Take care.